Hey guys, so uh, school, my first period, my chemistry class, so they have this kind of like extra credit assignment. So basically, you have to do a science experiment at home, right? And he said, no volcanoes. So I'm going to kind of like big brain it on him, you know? So like, the, you know those like model volcanoes that you use like baking soda and vinegar? Well, I'm going to do that. But I'm going to use different chemicals and call it elephant toothpaste. Because I don't think that's the same thing, you know? Like, the the foam that comes out of the elephant toothpaste, it's, it's kind of like exothermic, so it's warm. And yeah, the, the stuff that comes out of the volcanoes is, is cold, so it's technically a different reaction if you really think about it. Yeah, they, call, they kind of call me smart. Anyways, I'm going to stand to the side now, and I'm going to tell you what I need. So, I'm going to need a 16 ounce bottle of water, some dish soap, liquid dish soap. We don't want any bars. I hate bars. I'm, I'm not a rapper. Uh, then we need hydrogen peroxide. Now, it says to use a specific liquid 20, liquid... I think we got like 30%, we need 40%, anyways. We need warm water, hot water. So just boil some water and get it from the hot side of the sink, you know? You'll need half a cup measurement. So like just put half a cup of whatever you need in there. Then you're gonna want some yeast. Now, it was kind of hard to get this yeast because I couldn't really go get it because it took a while to go to the store, you know? That's, I think that's all you need. I'll put anything else on screen if you need it and I forgot. Oh, uh, yeah, that's all. You see measuring cups and spoons. Also, it's raining outside. I'll put a picture up of the rain on screen right here. Uh, so yeah, let's actually get to the experiment now. All right, guys, now we're on the hand cam, right? So I can't really show my face or else because I'm not in frame, and if I made the camera any lower, then you can't see above the desk. So we're doing it like this. Just know that I'm still here, and I'm doing the experiment. So let's get all of our supplies up. So first, we got the dish soap. We got Dawn Platinum. It's so good. 3% USB hydrogen peroxide. It says to get 6% or something, I don't know. So we got that too. Uh, we got just a normal, water bottle. Now, I'm not a fan of Pure Life Nestle water. I think Nestle makes chocolate, so I don't think this is, I think this is chocolate sauce, but we'll see. We got this measuring spoon, so it has tablespoons, which we need. We have this measuring cup, now this is half a cup, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. Uh, then we got the yeast. Now, I already did this experiment before, but I only used one, so I'm gonna use two this time. And it's not exactly one tablespoon, so I think two will be enough. We got um, like a little baby infant medicine syringe, and this has five milliliters, so this will be really easy to get the hydrogen. We can't forget about the water. Now, it's supposed to be hot, but as you can see, it's not too hot. Like I can just stick my finger in there, no problem. It's not too hot, just cause, yeah, it took me a long time re to record all this, so. Now I got my paper here. I got my paper over here with my instru instructions from signsbob.com. Look up signsbob to elephant toothpaste to replicate this experiment. I'll have his website in the description just so you know how to do this. So let's get all of our stuff off the table. Bajam! Oh my god, that was so magical. Anyways, I got everything that we need for the first part right here. So we got the Dawn, the liquid dish soap, if you will, the Nestle chocolate soap, just water. Nestle chocolate water. Water, just bottled water. 16 fluid ounces. Hydrogen peroxide. We need this baby. This is a big old, if we don't have this, we can't do it at all. Uh, measuring spoon and measuring cup half a cup and one tablespoon anyways so I'm not one to waste water 
and we, we kind of need this to be empty. So I'm just gonna drink all the water real quick with magic, you know, you know? So I'm just gonna put it right there and go, bop, bop, uh, bop, uh, bop, bop. Uh. So it's, oh God, that really was chocolate sauce. Anyways, all the water's out. All the, all the water's off of the, the water. So now listening to my instructions are right here. Uh, we need the water bottle. We need half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. So let's do that right now. So we're gonna open up the hydrogen peroxide. Why is it, why is it right there? And we're just gonna fill this up until it gets to half a cup. Ready? Magic. All right. So we just magically filled this up, you know. So I'm gonna put this down here because we don't need it anymore. And then, so without spilling it, you gotta put it in the water bottle. Nailed it. We didn't spill it whatsoever. We're just gonna just add a little bit more for flavor, you know. Nice. So we just added some flavor. Uh, no reason. Now it says to add some some coloring. I thought I had red paint, but no. I'm just gonna use some black acrylic paint. It said food coloring, but I couldn't. We don't have food coloring right now. So we just paint with paint. We just got all that in there. So now we want a tablespoon of dish soap. So. We're gonna get the tablespoon. It's gonna be the largest spoon on this thing. Well, it says a tablespoon right here, so I'm not that dumb. Sorry, this was in the sugar, so I'm trying to like get all the sugar off so it doesn't mess with it. Anyways, move this to the side. Get the, put this right there. Get the hydrogen Dawn, the Dawn dish soap. And now fill up the tablespoon just so it's full. So just squee, oh, it's right there. Oh, bubbles. All right, so now we got all filled. Now we gotta put it in here. Man, I'm not good at this. So we just gotta put it in here. Are you ready? I'm gonna start pouring it in. Just kind of do this so y'all can see it better. So just let most of that soap drip in there. Just gotta let it drip in there. All right, now, that that's done. Don't need this soap anymore. We don't need this cup anymore. We do need you though, please stay. And now, we give this a good shake, just to get the paint all incorporated. Now, we'll just leave the cap on for it to get to know each other better. Now we'll move on to the next part, which is gonna be in two, uh, the transition to it's gonna be very <laughs> Boom, all right, now we're here. So the recipe calls for three plus tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of yeast. Now this is just fast acting yeast because I'm kind of goaded like that. So we're just gonna get all the soap out of this because then the yeast is gonna stick. And I don't really want that. So I'm just gonna use my shirt, I guess. I'm gonna like, get my shirt on here just. Oh God. Oh, that's not gonna be pretty in the washer. Anyways, most of the soap is out there. So I say first we do our water. Now, I forgot to get a cup, so return of the hydrogen peroxide measuring cup. Also, I'm just gonna like rub all the peroxide onto my shirt because I don't want it acting with the yeast. It wants three tablespoons plus, so I'll do four tablespoons of water. So kind of like one, two, three, and that's a four. There you go. We're gonna want to use the yeast. Now we only need one tablespoon, but I know that one packet's not one tablespoon. So I'll just do it real quick. Now we get our measuring cup, tear open the yeast. Now we just like pour the yeast, in, oh, pour the yeast in here. Now as you see, that's not one tablespoon. It's a little bit less. So now you just want to put just a little bit more. Now I'm using rapid rise, fast acting yeast. So hopefully it works. I think it will cause I used it before, but it just wasn't that powerful. 
Probably just because I had a big box. So now we're putting the one tablespoon of yeast into the water. Now it's already starting to kind of do the reaction already. So that's kind of worrying, but now we gotta mix for 30 seconds. So I have my stir stick right here. Now we're just gonna stir it up. Oh, that smells horrible. Oh God. Viewer discretion advised. Oh my God, look at that. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Why? I could've just done, I could've just done water on a penny. That would've been so much better. All right, I think that's all mixed up. All right, so now I'm gonna clean all this up and get ready for the reaction. Hey guys, it's me, Butter Pal. And today we are gonna make elephant toothpaste. So, hit that like button in five seconds, or else you'll have ten years of bad luck. Hey, okay, so we're gonna unscrew the cat and get ready for this epic epic reaction. Oh wait, hold up, I gotta mix it a little bit more. I see a clump in there, hold on, just... Alright guys, so we have our yeast water mixture and our hydrogen peroxide dish soap and black acrylic paint. Let's see how it reacts. Three, two, one, go! stereotypical reaction youtubers oh my god this is not an easy video to make this is not an easy video to make uh my phone died and uh my phone died and it didn't record the reaction I made a severe lapse in judgment and I, I, I just wanted to apologize. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I hope you have the heart to forgive me for that. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I didn't think it would turn out like this. Uh, I hope we can all just. I'll just go back. Sorry. <laughs>